but right now you're just giving me opinions as to why we wear clothes or don't. You're talking about weather. You, you, you don't have a basis for it. I don't have a basis for why people wear clothes? No, you have a moral basis for it. A moral basis. Here's another thing we disagree about, everybody. People in the scientific community claim that what we feel is a result of evolution. So that we have sympathy for each other, that we get angry with each other, that we work very hard to raise our children, provide them with resources, is deep within us. It's part of who we are. It is not a result of a top-down uh, issuance of laws. That's the claim in science. And we observe this in other species. Okay, I'll let you say that. You know what, uh, young people and everyone here? God gave clothes because of sin. The fact that we're wearing clothes is a reminder that God killed animals and clothed Adam and Eve, the first blood sacrifices are covering for their sin, pointing towards the fact that someday one would come to die for our sin, die for your sin, Bill, and die for mine, be raised from the dead, and offer a free gift of salvation, and he offers it to you too. Um, thank you. And, and you I'm very skeptical that sin caused us to wear clothes. It may be I'm very skeptical. That's okay, but it is a reminder to you that God provides salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart God is raised from, from the dead, you'll be saved. And you'll be like so many of these people here. So my understanding, you, you were not born again, were you? You just started with this. Not born again. Were you born again? Jimmy I've, Carter was here recently, right? Absolutely I'm born again. You were born again, okay. Absolutely. If you're not born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. We're born of a woman, and then we're born again by the Spirit of God. For those who receive that free gift of salvation, you can be born again too. You know, you know what the Bible says? If you're not born again, you suffer a second death, which is eternal separation from God. And I'm not going to suffer that second death. Now, I don't want you to suffer that second death. I really don't, Bill. I know you don't. I would prefer that you weren't indoctrinating young people with anti-science. <laughs>